Yeah. Well, here's the Fidelity 2001 that I've spent some time on this evening, which is the one that came from a radio rally for two quid, had been full of water, and uh, had uh, got some bits missing as well. Anyway, we've got it going, and it's all as spot on as it's going to be. I mean, it works very, very well. I've done a quick uh, respray on the case, but, um, you know, it's certainly been through the wars. Just pop through the channels. One nine one nine, Roger. Anybody out there? Nineteen nineteen, a Roger. Well, we're never going to get a Roger, are we? Well, we do occasionally. I'll just put my monitor receiver on. Testing one, two, three, four, five, five, four, three, two, one. So we do know it does sound nice. Of course, the test instruments tell us it sounds nice. Another flick round. Well, I must say it works very well. The receiver is exceptionally sensitive. Um, nice sets. It uses the Cybernet PTBM 002 AAOX chassis as the Amstrad does, as the Mustangs do, as the Transcoms do, Harvard 402, the Harvard base stations, and they always work well. And if you've got on a volume squelch, which is switched down to the PA position, mic gain, RF gain, channel 9 switch, which displays channel 9 on this type of set. You've got tone high and low, and then you've got a display dimmer which just affects the LED. I might be able to demonstrate the tone if we turn the squelch down. That's in the high position, and that's in the low position. High, low. So there you have it, the Fidelity CB2001 from 1981.